My name is Tendai and thank you so much for tuning in today. If you're a new subscriber or if you're just, you know, stopping by, I do appreciate all of your support. And if you're already subscribed to this channel, thank you so much for your patience, for your borrowed time. Thank you for liking, commenting and subscribing to this channel. And thank you everybody for helping the family to grow. Now, before I jump into today's video, you guys, I just want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a happy, healthy, and prosperous new year. By the grace of God, let us walk in 2023 by all the grace and mercy that is already given us. Amen. Now, if you don't know, today is Monday. It is Shaky Monday. Now, as always, I share everything that has to do with faith, my journey and walk with God, and what is helping me to walk in, what is helping me to learn and then learn. Now, it is my prayer that everything that I'm sharing with you, no matter how great and small, will inspire you by the grace of God. And you see God is moving in your in your own life. And hopefully you get to see the work that God can do through and in you for the glory of God. All right, you guys. Now, having said that, now, before I jump into today's message, you guys, I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a prosperous and happy new year. Now, depending on the time that I post this video, it might be a few weeks or days after Christmas. So I really hope that you've had an amazing Christmas with your friends and with your family and that you had an amazing time. All right. All right, you guys, now having said that in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you something that I think most of us have done or that are continuing on doing in this new year that is writing our New Year's resolution list, right? Now, listen, I'm one who has always written a resolution list for most of my life. I've always written my little list, what I want, what I need, my dreams, my hopes and aspirations, my weight loss journeys and all that good stuff. But I never included God in that New Year's resolutions list. So now I remember I was watching, um, I think, Crazy Faith. That is by um, Pastor Michael Todd. One of his sermons, really. He was also talking about it. That teaching really resonated with me because I had been a victim to New Year's resolutions all my life. I would write my wants, my needs, my desires you know, what I need God to do, and so on and so forth. You know, and I would expect God to bless that list without even asking him, without even confirming a few things. But then now, as a maturing believer, as someone who's still continuing to grow in their faith, I'm now dedicating, I am no longer writing New Year's resolutions list. I'm now writing my faith list, right? It's pretty much everything that that you know that maybe 50 percent is what was in my new year's resolutions anyways but the only difference now is that i am choosing to include god you know to include god to ask what he wants to ask what he thinks and just to to put all of my my dreams my hopes and aspirations in the hands of god and as i journey on into the new years into the coming years now and beyond i know that you know what this is what I want God to do in my life. But at the end of the day, it's not about my list. It's about what God wants, right? The scripture tells us that we should present our needs to God, right? The scripture tells us that we shall we should make our petitions known to God. So God wants to see our faith list, right? He wants to see our desires, our dreams, our and he wants us to cast out and to even tell him about our worries you know, our anxieties and all of these negative emotions that might be attacking our being. God wants us to, you know, to see all that. He wants us to express those things to him. Of course, he already knows us. He already knows what he wants. But there's, there's a beauty in our relationship with God, knowing it is not a one-sided relationship, right? It is both ways, right? I'm asking God and God is giving me, me direction. Where I fall short, God is disciplining me. Holy Spirit is discipling me. And we are just, you know, journeying on, on in the path of life with God and doing life with God, right? So, as I said, on my faith list, it is really things that I am believing God for things that I, I want and giving, surrendering the list to God and giving him room to do whatever he wants with the list, right? But giving him room to do exceedingly, abundantly and beyond what that I can even ask or think of, you know, and not putting him in that box of my list and allowing my imagination to go as high as it can be, but allowing God 
to go as high as you want to, right? I don't want to put any caps on God on my faith list, but once again, as I already said, God wants us to present our needs and our dreams. As you guys can like and comment and share and subscribe and just to share and have an exchange on what is on your faith list, what you're believing God for, your word for the year. It will be very nice that we can all stand up in faith and present our needs and our petitions to God and really to, to see all of these things coming together as a community, right? So that is all I wanted to say to you today. Uh, I know uh, you guys, I know it's still very festive in the new year. So I want you to take time, ask the Holy Spirit to lead you into the into the into this list, and then uh, we'll hopefully we'll see each other next time with your testimony. So till then, you guys take care. God bless once again. Happy New Year, and put everything in prayer. And see you next week.